Some of you may have heard of Black Ink Leather from Australia. They have a great design flair that results in very functional and attractive wallets. They have two of them, these two, that will be released and available on the Amazon platform in the United States here very soon. So let's get into these two wallets. All right, well, we'll get into the first wallet here. I'm not sure which one this one is. Ah, I see. This is the two pocket card holder. Let's take this sleeve off. Looks like we have a card. Very good, real kangaroo leather. Kangaroo leather is amazing. It is, you can cut it very thin, but it has incredible durability to it. And it talks about how there are scars on it, which you would expect. Animals do live their lives. So if we look at this, and this is really nice. This is a graphite gray color with rust paint. You can see that right here on the top. That's a great color combination. And look at the interior. I really like this. Let's see. Sewing looks great. I like this little feature here. Of course, the thumb push is really nice. Very pliable. It's a great start for a wallet. Excellent. This one must be the bifold card wallet. Let's open it up. Set the box aside. Another sleeve. Oh, is it a sleeve? No, it's not. Let's see here. This comes undone, wraps around, and comes out here. Nice. Looks like we have another card with the same information on it. Wonderful. And let's take a look at this one. This is the vintage chocolate color. It also comes in three other colors. The graphite <coughs> gray, which you saw in the two card, black, sand, and vintage caramel. So I really like this color. Let's take a look at the sewing. The sewing is done really well. Some nice edge paint here. Just a reddish color. Really wonderful offset to this kind of chocolatey color. You can see that this is really small. And you can see the Kind of flare in the design in here. This is excellent, love it. Now one thing I want to point out really quick is the threading. We usually get to this later, but I wanted to point out how you have the gold threading that's on the exterior, that's a great accent. But if you go to the interior, you can see that you have a brown thread. Again, this is all detail in the design. It's been very well thought out. Now to the feature review of both of these. Since we just finished up with the bifold card wallet, let's uh, get with it. On the exterior, we have two exterior card slots. These would be considered quick access, capacity of one to two cards each, and these two slots in the exterior are not RFID. I know, it's great, but there is a combination here and it's actually pretty cool. Folded cash will go on any of these. If we go to the interior, we notice we have two interior card slots, capacity of one to two cards each, and RFID is on the interior here. The material, the RFID, RFID blocking material, is in between this back leather. You can notice that there is no flesh on this. It is another piece of leather married to the front. Since you're dealing with kangaroo leather, which can be split very thin, it still doesn't add to the bulk of this leather. Pretty impressive. And as mentioned, cash can be folded twice and put into here. Now, let's move on to the two pocket card holder. On this wallet, we see that we have one exterior card slot right here. Oh, this is so thin, amazing. Uh, this whole wallet is not RFID. If we go to the interior, we have a card slot here, which provides you a quick access thumb push from the bottom. One to two cards here as well. And like its brother, this is RFID protected. So you can have this slot, which is non, this slot, which is. A again, a nice attention to detail and trying to accommodate people who tap pay and that kind of thing. Capacity of two to four cards in here, that's really good. So now let's move on to the card and cash insertion test. Let's keep going. Into the two pocket card holder. You saw I got two to four cards in there. The company recommends up to six cards in the bifold wallet here and up to four in the two pocket card holder. Now, from a quality perspective, this, these are designed and made in Australia. 
Varun, who is the, is the maker creator who has put a lot of time creating designs that are functional and really visually pleasing. These are both full grain veg tan leather. I'm gonna take these this out here. And you notice I used uh, Australian dollars as part of the cash and card insertion test, might as well. Uh, but they will fit any currency that you have to fold twice. I did mention their kangaroo leather, right? Which is ethically harvested for sustainability. And of course it shows the scars of living, which you can see in some of these places here. I think it just adds fantastic character. It's the same that you would find on cowhide, honestly. It's no different there. But I really like how it shows you the life of what you're carrying and what they're providing you by way of uh, longevity and a wonderful looking piece of leather. It's stitched using polyester thread. They can be personalized with a monogram, including using gold foil if you want. The inner pocket on the bifold is RFID, as I mentioned, and it's sewn in between that interior exterior leather piece on this particular wallet. And that's for those who want to tap and go. So this pocket, both of these pockets on the exterior of the bifold are non-RFID. I think that's awesome because you can just tap and go if you want to, as well as being a quick access card slot. I mean, great idea. Both have painted edges on them. And I love this rust color on the two card version against this graphite gray. It just looks really nice. And so he's, again, a lot of attention to detail in the design as well as the color combinations. Taking inspiration from the traditional Japanese art of origami, the bifold wall in particular has clever folds and curves. As you can see right here in the interior, you notice these hopefully, they're all in the right places. They minimize stitching for ease and for quick access to all pockets. And of course it reduces material. And by so doing, you reduce bulk and you end up with a thinner wallet overall. Pricing on both of these, the bifold card wallet is $89 and the two pocket card holder is 69. Those are the prices you'll find on US Amazon. There are more if you go to buy them from their site in Australia. Now from a usability perspective, let's look at the bifold half round. As mentioned, it makes access to cards much easier. Let's put a card in here so you can see what this looks like. Makes cash and card access very nice. I don't know why more slim makers don't uh, you know, do things like this. If we look at the uh, card holder in particular, has this rounded corner right here. We've seen this on several wallets. This is a usability design issue. Makes access to cards or, or uh, to cash or cards really nice. You don't have to dig in from a top. If this was down tight, you can just have this uh, fold over a bit. You have access to it. It's really quite good. And the thumb push on the back here is excellent. I mean. Every wallet should have something similar. These are both simple to use, but you immediately begin to notice how thin this leather is, as I mentioned. All right, right here, I mean, this is super thin. All right, we're gonna get out our little uh, digital measuring here. We're gonna go to millimeters. Let's make sure I zero this out. All right, here we go. This is 0.63 of a millimeter. That is super thin, yet this wallet will last forever. Kangaroo leather is amazing. Another thing is if you're interested in tracking your wallet, both wallets will fit the 2020 tile or the Chipolo tracking card if you're concerned about losing your wallet. Bifold card wallet measures 3.6 by 2.7 by 0.3 and it weighs 28 grams or one, or one ounce, very light, which comes again from the kangaroo leather. The uh, two card pocket holder is 3.7 by 2.6 by 0.2 and it weighs 19 grams or 0.7 ounces. That's amazing. Now I love kangaroo leather, if it's not obvious by now. It's my favorite due to strength, the thin cut of it. I mean, these are amazing animals. They're so cuddly, but you know what? They are built. These guys are ripped and they could kill you in a fight, so you gotta be careful. And th this is just like full grain veg tan leather where you, man, this just smells, smells amazing. So now let's get on to the final score. These wallets came out the same. Quality of five, price of three. Features of four, the inclusion, for example, of the RFID and non-RFID, along with the two quick access slots on the bifold, uh, with the two pocket card, the fact that you have a thumb push slot in there as well as RFID, non-RFID, I mean, that's just amazing. Usability, four, they're very easy to use, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 41 out of 50. If you're interested in these, take a look at the link below. They are now shipping in the United States. Great quality, I love these things. We'll see you in the next review, bye.